Hey, um, my name is Jacqueline, and today I'm gonna hopefully inform you more on someone you didn't know too much about. His name is Jared Leto. Um, he is a singer, songwriter, director, and actor. Um, he's also the lead singer of the band 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, one quote from him to start, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. Of course, my topic is um, just basically a biography of Jared Joseph Leto. And if you enjoy learning new information about actors and musicians in Hollywood, then Jared Leto is an interesting and multi-talented one to learn about. Uh, what interested me most in choosing this topic is the inspiration that this man has brought me through some tough times. Um, I recently started listening to him. My best friend got me to a uh, little after my grandfather passed away. So when I, when I was going through a difficult time with my family and um, she brought this uh, about. So I got to listen to a few songs and it kind of, they kind of spoke to me in a different um, I think by the end of my speech, hopefully, you all will be able to describe Jared Leto a little bit more and what he is known for. Three things that he is known that he is known that he does are as followed: it's who he is, what he does, and how he inspires people. Starting with who he is, he began as an average Joe. He is from Bossier City, Louisiana. He was born December 26, 1971. And according to biography.com, his breakthrough role was My So-Called Life in 1994. Um, but it took him a while to get there. He was 22 when he moved away. His parents were shortly divorced after his birth. Um, and his mother was a traveling artist and raised him and his brother. The family struggled financially, but he said, uh, according to jaredletter.net, um, he said he was always raised around to appreciate the arts. So he was raised around um, people in the theater, artists, painters, photographers, people like that who were always into art. Um, so creative, creativity was always emphasized in him and his brother. Um, he, in, when he was, he enrolled in, the, in Philadelphia School of Arts and originally to study painting like his mother, um, but then he switched his focus and transferred over to New York School of Visual Arts where he majored in filmmaking. This was his, like I mentioned before, his breakthrough in his My So-Called Life. Um, that was from 1994 to 1995. His first movie he did was, in, he had a role in the movie Fight Club in 1999. He did the movie Requiem for a Dream the Dallas Buyers Club in 2013, which also um, won the 2014 Academy Award Best Supporting Actor. Uh, a picture is as follows. The top one in the middle is Mr. Nobody. Um, another thing I admire about him is that when he goes for a role, um, he gets really serious about the role he's going for. So his most recent one, is Suicide Squad that comes out in August. Um, he's actually dyed his hair green, he's shaved his eyebrows off for that role, anything to get ready for it. The top one in the corner over here, chapter 27, he gained 60 pounds purpose, purposely to um, have fit the role for the character he was playing. So he gets really into his characters. And in between being an actor and songwriter, he's also known for inspiring his fans and what he stands for. He invites his fans to feel special 
by considering them as a, a certain group called echelon. Um, that's what this middle picture is down here. Their symbol for 30 Seconds to Mars, their band, has become a triangle and they, the fans pretty much make it with their hands. Um, this past summer, actually, I went to Holly, I got to go to Hollywood and when I was walking the, uh, the Walk of Fame with the stars, I found this Superman guy who was also in his music video. If you look up the music video, the City of Angels, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars, he's in there and he does interviews with different celebrities on how LA has changed their life. Um, so I think he just always encourages people to be their own, never give up, and follow their dreams. So hopefully I was able to inform you on an artist that you didn't know too much about, who he is, what he does, and how he inspires people, how he's inspired me. And in conclusion, I challenge you all to hopefully listen to a 30 Seconds to Mars song today and pay close attention to what Jared Leto is trying to say and how he relays his message through his music. One thing he's always said is that he never explains the meaning of his music because he wants each fan to have their own concepts of the way they look at his songs.